All right, thank you for tuning in. All right, this is my this is my very first tutorial actually. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a photo look sketched inside of Photoshop. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, first of all, you want to take this layer. Well, as you can see, we got a picture of a Supergirl here. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you want to take your layer, your background layer. You want to duplicate it. Bam, just like that. And then you want to shut the eye off on that on that background layer. Okay, now you want to click this layer, the the copy of the background layer, and you want to go Control U, or just go up here to Image, go Adjustments, go down to Hue and Saturation, Control U, and you want to make it pretty much a straight black and white photo. All right, there you go. See, all black and white. Now, also what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to take it and you want to bring the lightness up a little bit. Um, because of the fact that when you actually draw, it's not straight black unless you're using like a black pen. It's like a really dark gray or something of another like that. So you want to just go ahead and bring the lightness up to where it's not really just straight black because it's gonna it's not gonna look right if it's if you have straight black lines in it. All right, so you want to go ahead and click OK. <clears throat> All right, now you want to take this layer, the copy of the background layer, and you want to copy it again so you want to go ahead and you want to drag it down here to make a new layer now you have two copies so now you got three layers all together alright now that second copy of the background layer you want to take it and you want to go control I or you want to go up here to image go adjustments and go invert control I right there or apple I for the Mac and vice versa pretty much it's all control is the command button for uh the max I believe so invert that picture pretty neat alright now what you want to do is you want to take it hold on you want to take it and you want to go up here to the transfer mode and you want to make it color dodge bring it up to color dodge or alt shift D should do it um, makes it pretty much all white and that's exactly what you want um, don't worry you didn't mess up Alright, now what you want to do is you want to go up here and go up here to filter, go blur, and then Gaussian blur. I don't really know what Gaussian means. Um, if you guys want to look it up in the dictionary or something or on Wikipedia, wi Wikipedia or whatever it's called. And uh, let me know what it means because I have no idea what Gaussian means. Anyways, Gaussian blur. And then as you can tell, you already start to get a sketch look. Um, that's actually not that bad at all. Um, I, I was doing it earlier, so I have a set 5.6. That's exactly where I want it. But you can go ahead and you can go less, or you can go more. Um, primarily going more will obviously make it look more like a black and white photo rather than as if somebody drew it. So keep it, you know, just just go for whatever look you're going for I mean it doesn't really matter but for me I'm going for 5.6 so go ahead and click OK or enter and should set that now also you're like okay that's good but you want it to look a lot better um, what you can do is you can go over here to uh, image adjustments and brightness and contrast and what this is going to do is it's going to bring out all those subtle shadows and highlights that are in the picture and you bring the brightness down and you start to get a lot more of it as if somebody actually drew it and shaded it in with the pencil um, just mess with the with the little sliders and everything you know try to get try to go for whatever look you're going for um, that's pretty much the tutorial um, let me go ahead and show you exactly how to do it again using just straight hotkeys um, do it this way. Delete. Yep. Delete. Yes. All right. So once again, you have you have your background layer. You want to go ahead and you want to duplicate it. Okay. You want to shut the I/O on that background, the very first background layer. You click on your copy. You go Control U or Command U. It brings up your hue, hue and saturation. And you slide it all the way down. Bam bring your lightness up a little bit um, 
not too much, but you know, whatever the photo calls for. I mean, it's totally up to you. Okay, you want to go ahead and copy that, just like that. So now you have two layers. You want to go Control I or Command I on the Mac, which inverts it, and then you also want to go Alt Shift D, which is color dodge, which change the transfer mode to color dodge makes it primarily white then you want to go up to filter I don't know if there's a hotkey for that or not oh for the last um, filter that you use is control F but sometimes that's not the last uh, filter that you've used and you might end up getting something else like a liquid fire or something off the wall some kind of a distort or something so we'll just go down to Gaussian Blur and click it 5.6 you're all good but like I said just use whatever numbers look good for the photos all photos are going to be different so don't just go ahead and type in 5.6 and be like oh well it doesn't look right because I'm using a different photo mine's primarily white around the back and you know colors there's only a few different colors in it so pick, pick whatever numbers you want um, and then go image brightness and contrast and then you just add a little bit of shading to it and there you go um... so that's it that's how you make a uh, a photo look sketched in photoshop thank you for tuning in um... rate subscribe comment send send me your uh... your pictures if you want if you've done this you know let me know how they turn out leave them in a comment or something uh, that's pretty much it. You guys take care, and I'm going to see if I can start doing more of these tutorials for you guys. Maybe some more in After Effects, and uh, maybe some Illustrator. All kinds of Adobe stuff. So yeah, this is your. This has been the tutorial on uh, how to make a photo look sketched in Photoshop. Thank you for tuning in. You guys take care.